in Buddhism, we teach about the circle of life. And that's the, the cycle of birth, life, and death. And science teaches us that, um, you know, like matter, the material things, matter can, can't be created or destroyed. That's like a, a law that they say. Matter cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed. And so that all the matter that exists now is all that will ever exist. And that makes it, that means it's finite. You know, there's always going to be the same amount of elements in the universe. And the mind, on the other hand, is not material. It's actually infinite. So no matter what you put in your mind, you can put the entire universe in, in your mind and it's still empty. You know, that, that means it's infinitely, you can put infinite amounts of things in it. And, um, and time is relative. That's another, uh, you know, Einsteinian concept. It's relative to where you are in the universe. Uh, it's also a concept that really only exists within your mind and you only perceive time based on where you are in the universe. You know, we perceive it based on the way the, the planet spins and then rotates around the sun when you go out into space, it's based on the speed of light and it's actually based on space and time. So it's completely relevant. Um, and, and so since your mind is eternal, in essence, so is time. So time is infinite. And um, after you die, the molecules and atoms of your body, they, they go out into the universe. And with infinite time and a finite amount of material, eventually all of that material will come back into the same shape and just take the same form. And that is when, in, that's when you become re reincarnated. And so when you hear Buddhists talk about reincarnation, it means your mind is reborn. And it's kind of like having a, a deck of cards, like, you have one deck of cards, you shuffle it and deal it out. And if you do that enough times, eventually you end up with the same hand. And um, even though you have the same hand, you don't, not everybody else necessarily does. So it's always a little different. But um, that idea of re reincarnation, it might sound appealing, but you also have to realize that life living, that's where all the suffering comes from. It's uh, in order to live, you, you actually have to kill, like whether it's a plant or an animal, you have to kill to feed yourself and to survive. And that creates karma. And so when you're living, and that's just one example of one of the ways you, you have to create karma and um, by being alive. And so you're constantly creating karma and karma is like adding, like if, if your mind is originally clear, when you put karma in, it's like putting color in it and it, it's not clear anymore. You, you're putting, you're tainting it. And if you put enough color in it, eventually it starts to draw a circle and that circle is the circle of life. And when you complete the circle, that's death. And so as long as you remain attached to your karma, when you'll stay on that same path and always follow that path into the next life. So that is a continuing circle all the way around. So that's kind of how I'm symbolically explaining the circle of life and your karma. So as long as you're attached to that, you can you repeat the same patterns and the idea with meditation is you're you're trying to free yourself from your karma and release yourself from your karma and when you can release yourself from the karma you become free from the constraints of yourself 
and you have no you're putting down your it's a practice of learning how to release yourself from your ego your opinion and your desire and those are the things that are uh, keeping you attached to your karma and so when you can use meditation you can you can free yourself from that and when you break that cycle and free yourself from that circle that's what buddha called getting um attaining nirvana and that is heaven you know it's when you don't have to suffer anymore and that's that's what meditation can help us do it can help us let go of our karma and and find heaven and i would just suggest to you you can uh that the purpose of life is to all for all of us all to find our own path to heaven and meditation i think is a um uh, one of the ways you can help find that within yourself and uh i just say um keep meditating and i wish you luck in this journey